Hey guys, it's April with Cricut Crafting. Somebody asked me how I made the puzzle for um, the Reindeer Games bag that I had, this one right here. And I am going to show you guys how I went about doing that. Let me close out of a couple of things here. Um, just so you get another look at it, it's the puzzle, and you can see that in Project Primrose, too. I'll leave a link for that. Um, let's go over here. I can't share this because I uploaded an image for it, so I will show you guys how I did it. Let me open this up, and while that's loading... It's going to take a moment for that to load because there's a lot in that file. All those tiny squares for the checker game. Let me see if I can open another one too and we can do it fresh. I just wanted to show a couple of points in there for you. Here we go. This was my tic-tac-toe board, and all I did is I made these the size that I wanted, and then I duplicated the frames and the backing for it, and then I just put in another square and added a pattern to it, and then I put some black lines on there to create my tic-tac-toe board. So that's how I did that one. Um, wasn't anything except two squares and a frame. And then I just added a, a square in there and made it a long skinny rectangle and duplicated it and distributed it evenly across the square. Um, and then, of course, the Reindeer Games, that was the logo that I put on the front of it. The rest of this is in Design Space. So let me close that out and I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. Okay, let's go to a new project in images, and I typed in puzzle. I think I typed in checkers for the other one. This is the puzzle I used. It is 99 cents. You will have to purchase it. Um, these, I believe, are just lines. I don't believe that one cuts. And this one doesn't have a line that goes all the way down. But I wanted a nine pin. And this one did, had a line missing there, too. So I'm not sure about these. And I didn't want to buy them to find out how they cut. So I went with this one. Uh, it is puzzle number M2F, like Frank. E like Edward. D like dog. Zero. It's under. It's in the locker talk. Um, cartridge in access so we're going to insert that and then I'm going to ungroup it and there's the frame there's the yellow pieces and you see notice there's only two green pieces they I have notified them and they are working on that um, just so you guys know I'm going to undo and I want all of those pieces back exactly where they were at and you're going to see why I'm going to ungroup this I'm coming over here to the layers panel and I'm going to duplicate that square and it fits inside there I didn't like that I actually stretched it for the backing and then I duplicated this frame because I did a double layer of my cardstock so I didn't want when the puzzle was put together sitting up above the frame. So if you're going to double up or triple up your cardstock, however many top layers you do on the puzzle, you're going to need frames to beat that up uh, to match this. So there is what we're going to work with there. And then I want to... If it's going to let me grab it. It's kind of hard to grab. There we go. I want to move that out because it's the wrong size. I'm going to select this. And I need a square that's 3.111. 
and that one says that it is. I'm just double checking it. So we're going to select them, align, and we're going to center everything and line it up. Now I want to take the yellow and I'm going to arrange and move it to the back and I am going to take the purple arrange and move it to the back. So now I have the purple which is welded and the green and I'm going to select both of them or I'm going to try. I select it all and let's make this easy. Put it in the one one position. There everything lines up. Now I can select this and this and you'll see why I did that. I You want to get this lined up perfectly. Align, center, and now I'm going to slice. And I need to hold these to the side and I'm going to put that back on the 1-1 one, one mark and I'm going to arrange and move it to the back. Once I fix this file you will not have to do this but you're going to have to do it for the time being to get all nine pieces because there's a piece missing in the middle. And I, all I did was slice that again. And the reason I did that is I need this piece right here. And I left a little tail on there, so. But that's going to be okay. We just need that, that. We can get rid of these. And we can get rid of that. So now we have actually nine pieces. And they, like I said, they are fixing that. Let me insert a shape. I'm going to get a square and I'm just going to get rid of that tail on that one by slicing it. With these all welded together that makes it this part, part of it a little easier. Okay. Now we need to slice these pieces apart and I'll show you why. Um, so go ahead and get a shape, a square, and you can duplicate it a couple of times so you don't have to keep going over there. Put it over the first one and select. Keep both pieces. Okay? You're going to want this piece and you're going to want this piece. They're the same. And then we're going to put that piece in there, making sure that you get all of it in but don't get into the other piece. If you do, you can just undo and go back and do it again. So now we have this one. And that's this one. And this one. And we don't have one for this one, so we're going to duplicate it and just so that you can keep them straight. This is going to be your backing piece. So you can make these pieces white so that you can keep that separate. And know which pieces are for your backing. And that's just to beef up the puzzle. So there's those. I'm going to delete that and get rid of it. I'm going to duplicate this so that I have another one for the other color. And then I'm going to do this one. And I see it peeping out there a little bit. And we're going to slice that one. And you can change that one again, like I said, to white just so you can keep them straight. I left a little tiny edge there. I don't think it's going to matter, but we need to take it off of there. I mean, you're talking about peach fuzz there. It's not really going to 
affect your puzzle one way or the other on that little oops see what I did it was in the way of that and let me undo that took off part of my tail there on the puzzle piece uh, so let's see let's slide it in there there we go and slice if it's a problem you can get closer than that with it I, I'm just doing this to show you guys so my other one I made sure that I got them all lined up really really well and made sure that everything was perfect I think I had one that was off a hair it, and it went together perfectly you can see in the pictures so it wasn't a big deal this one doesn't have one so I have to duplicate it but I've got a tail to slice off there too so we're just going to take these two this one is white and I know this seems like a lot but once you set it up um, you won't have to do this again as a matter of fact I may just save this for you guys and share it with you without a photo in there as long as I don't mess up and save when I upload the photo to show you guys how to do this we should be fine and it should be shareable but you will have to pay for it okay that's identical okay this one we need to duplicate and change one to white and there's our backing piece for that one let me just get a fresh shape here almost done and this one's pretty simple here slice change that to white keep that and now I'm going to slice this one out but it makes it hard with those nibs on there to maneuver and get these in there This one doesn't have one, so we're going to duplicate it and make that one white. Okay, now all these white pieces, you have nine of them. No need to worry about them. They don't have to be in any special order. Just make sure that you've got them, all the pieces. And like I said, they're supposed to be fixing this file, but until that time, um, you'll need to do that. And then I am going to come in and insert an image. Let's see if I can find something printable in Design Space. That way, if I do mess up and accidentally say that it won't mm -mm, keep you guys. Oh, let's erase my search filter. There we go. Let's find them. Okay, here we go. Let's just go with this one, cookies, right here. What cartridge is that on? That's on Play Food labels, but we'll just use this. It's a good image. We're going to insert it. It may be not square enough, but we're going to try it. Okay, and we need to change it to... 3.11 that's the size of the photo and that's fine for this purpose that's all we need it for it doesn't matter if it's perfect here because I'm just going to be showing you and let's make sure it is flattened it is a flattened image which your photo will be too now this is the important part you need to put your puzzle together so that you know what piece goes where and I'm trying to remember 
Oh, this piece has the backing piece. That's a bigger piece. It's going to go arrange. Let's move this to the back. That's going to be the top left. And I'm just lining them up now. I'm not centering anything yet. I just want to make sure that my puzzle goes together in the correct order. I just want all these pieces so that when we put it together, the picture is correct. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to select all of the puzzle pieces. I don't know if it'll let me. I'm going to slide that out. And I'm just going to pull this down out of the way. I'm going to move these over here. And I'm just going to group those just so they move together. And we're going to take this first piece. Or, and we're going to select the back piece. Or this is your photo. This cookies is your photo. Whatever photo you choose. You're going to align left, align top, and you're going to slice it. And then I am getting rid of the green one and I'm keeping this piece. This one, arrange, move it to the front, and I'm not slicing it yet and you'll see why. Arrange, move it to the front, align right, align top, and slice, and I'm going to get rid of that piece and move this one over, and then I want to align top, align center horizontally, and you see it doesn't line up. I don't know why I had the same issue with the other one. So what I did is I put the position Y at 1 for my backing piece. Let me move that to the front so you can see it. And then I lined it up this way, making sure it was lined up here. In case it was just a sliver of something cut off, it wouldn't matter. And then I wanted to make sure that that, and I just got lucky, was at one as well. So make sure they're both in the one position. Select and slice it. And it cut perfectly there. I have just a tiny tail right there, but we're not, we're not going to worry about it and delete that piece. We don't need it because we have our photo here and our backing pieces here. So that's how you guys do this and you're just going to continue on with each piece until you've cut your photo into nine pieces and then you can get rid of these. Um, I am going to undo that so that we have those nine pieces in there and then I'm going to save it and I'll share this file with you guys so you don't have to go through the hassle but if you choose another puzzle I wanted you guys to see how you could do it with your own photo. So you, just so you know, it'll I'll save this and you guys will have it. And I will post it in the description of the video down below. Looks like it's trying to freeze up on me a little bit here, but that's okay. I just want to get you guys a design number. I shouldn't have deleted them. I should have just set them to the side. It doesn't like to undo sometimes. And come on. Work with me, design space. I need to dump my cash, I'm pretty sure. That it's me and my internet. All right. Uh, Got one more piece coming back. I shouldn't have moved that because that's just another undo move. Okay. 
And if you guys have any questions or anything that you want that I didn't cover on this, please just message me. Uh, come to the Facebook groups, Cricut Crafting or Cricut Maker Projects. Usually it will get answered quicker there than anywhere else. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video so that it doesn't take up time for me to do this undo. And I will put all of these back into position for you so that you have them. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and let me get rid of that. And I can find that corner piece right here. And we will just, that's the good thing about having these to layer for your backup because now we have another green piece. We'll duplicate that. Put that back up there. And I will change that one back to the green. So there's your puzzle pieces. These are your layer pieces and you have everything you need here. All you need to do is get your own photo and you guys can uh, create your own puzzle. And this is for the rain deer games. And let's get you guys that number really quick. I appreciate you guys watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's going to be file 707 Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.